The Peruvian capital of Lima is the second most populated desert city in the world, second only to Cairo. And while the city has one of the largest supplies of renewable water resources in the Americas, delivering clean water to people is a challenge. CCTV's Dan Collins examines how the capital is coping with the scarcity of this vital resource. You only have to look at Peru's arid coast to see fresh water is in short supply. For the have-nots here, access to safe drinking water is more of a luxury than a human right. For villagers living here on the side of the Pan American Highway, 90 kilometers south of the capital, this billboard is the only source of clean drinking water. But this is a private project funded by an engineering university and has nothing to do with the government. For villager Kenny Rao, this innovative experiment which extracts water from the damp air has become a lifeline. There's no safe drinking water here, just wells. The water from this panel is like bottled water. You can drink it directly. For Kenny, this is her only other source of water. It's salty and dirty. She uses it to clean clothes. Lima's public-private water authority says getting running water to people like Kenny and her family is a priority, but it's going to be expensive. 93% of Lima has water coverage. To get to 100%, we as a company will have to invest $3.5 billion, amplifying the coverage and repairing and maintaining water pipes. The city's water board says nearly 2 million people in Lima still don't have piped water. Flowing from the Andes Mountains, the river Rimac is not a huge river, but it is the principal source for the city of Lima, Peru's capital with a population of more than 9 million people. Once the water has been diverted through the sluice gates, on the other side of the dam, you can see there's little more than a trickle left. But as climate change hits Peru, water for its cities will dwindle even more. You talk about climate change, you have to think about the glaciers. Uh, over 95% of the water for coastal cities is currently accessed from glacial melt. Um, if you see a 20 to 30% decrease in glaciers over the next 10 to 15 years, that water scarcity issue is just going to be amplified. Plans to ease Lima's water shortage include pumping water from the Amazon through a tunnel in the Andes Mountains, another desalinating seawater from the Pacific to make it fit to drink. It will be expensive. Um... Uh, both when it comes to the domestic supply of water, but also to manage more uh, water. But what we have also seen is that you can actually make savings also economically by using the water more efficiently. With its impressive growth, Peru is better placed now than ever before to ensure it has enough water to continue growing. Dan Collins, CCTV, Lima.